Now, actor and comedian Rowan Atkinson has spoken out against so-called offence culture, saying that it's the job of comedy to offend, adding that every joke must have a victim. Offence in the world of comedy has been a particularly hot topic in the last few years, with many fearing an increased level of censorship is a genuine threat to freedom of speech. P Paul, what do you make of Rowan's comments here? And, and added to that, do you, do you think that's a reaction to the, the Joe Lycett story, whereby he's literally had complaints made to the police about some of his so-called offensive jokes? I'm, I'm sure it is. I think Rowan Atkinson is, is absolutely right. There is now uh, a rigid conformity, I think, in the public square, where if you deviate from that, even if you're a comedian, um, you can expect to be, to be attacked. You may get cancelled. In the case mm. of Joe Lysett, even may get your collar felt and be questioned by the police, which I think is insane, the idea mm. that as a stand-up comedian you can go on a stage in front of hundreds of people, sometimes thousands of people, who have actually paid money to go and listen to you tell jokes, presumably because they know about your pedigree and they've found you mm. funny before, and the police can come knocking on your door and say, we want to ask you about this, you know, we're not sure about this. It, it seems to me to be completely insane. And the truth is, Diana, it's commensurate with the whole culture in this country at the moment, which is an offence culture, mm. where people think that if they simply say, I am offended by that, then there should be some action that, that ensues, whether it's by public authorities or anybody else. Well, they're, they're the buzzwords, aren't they? I'm offended and suddenly uh, there should exactly. be action. It's almost like it's a clincher in debate. Mm. Um, and, you know, whereas once upon a time people would say, I disagree with you, increasingly more and more now they're saying, you mustn't say that. Mm -hmm. uh, and they think that that is the, the end of the debate. Uh, and it seems to me that, you know, we, we constantly in this country champion the concepts of diversity. OK, fine. But why, one area where we're appalling at encouraging diversity is in diversity of thought mm. and diversity of expression and diversity of opinion. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that, that too many in the upper echelons of our society are doing the opposite on those things and saying, actually, there is a conventional wisdom in their minds and that conventional wisdom should apply to everybody. It's sinister uh, and it's actually totalitarian and there's a lot of cowardice, actually, mm. of people in public life who are not prepared to stand up against it. And that's why we see spectacles like comedians getting their collars felt. Mm -hmm. And so Rowan Atkinson has kind of intervened, saying that it is the job of comedy to offend. Obviously, we had Ricky Gervais's uh, new Netflix show, which we talked about, I think, a few weeks ago and about how he's hitting back at this kind of cancel culture himself. It must be so tough for comedians these days, eh? Well, I mean, you have to script yourself, I guess, to within an inch of your life to mm. make sure you're not going to offend anybody, although some people are big enough, I think, to stand up against that. Ricky Gervais is, is one of them. Um, but there are lots of possibly up-and-coming comedians who can't risk being cancelled because it's their, it's their livelihood. Mm. Uh, and we've got to get away from this culture that says, if you, if you say something that offends me, uh, then somebody should take action against mm -hmm. you. Uh, it's, it's stifling, it's suffocating. Uh, I think it, it stops us um, from discussing ideas, it stops us from discussing opinions, and it's unhealthy for a society to have that kind of prevailing culture, I mm -hmm. think. Absolutely. Well, to discuss this story further, we're delighted to say that we're now joined by stand-up comedian Josh Howey. Josh, thank you for your time this morning. Do you think that Rowan Atkinson is fair in his assessment there? that uh, comedy is all about offending people. There has to be the butt of every joke. Well, I would say, first of all, hello, by the way. Um, and sorry, I, I, don't, I don't want to offend anyone for being in my children's bedroom, but that's the only place that they'll actually leave me alone uh, for a second. So, um, yes, I think, first of all, number one is the job of comedy is to make people laugh. That is obviously going to be the first the first priority. But, yeah, there, there is an idea that comedy is about pushing boundaries, transgressing, because it's when you push those boundaries that you find out where the boundary is. Now, sometimes you make a mistake and you cross the line, but you don't really know until you get there sometimes. And that's why uh, I think it plays an important role in society. But first of all, you've got to make people laugh.